What's up guys, it's Jen here and I'm finally ready to open up and start sharing my story. The one thing that has been probably hard for me throughout my entire career on social media is I always kept to myself. It's time to be real, really fill you guys in, help you guys in any way that I can with what I've been through and my advice. So a lot of you are always asking me, how did I get to where I am today? How did I grow a following on Instagram? Where did I come from? How old were you when you started working out? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All those questions. So I thought I would make a YouTube video even though I'm not the best on camera, but let's do this. I'm, I'm getting ready guys, rolling up the sleeves. So here's the basics. I grew up in Long Island, New York, Roslyn specifically. I have a sister who is my best friend. Her name's Steph. My mom and dad got divorced, but they're still best friends. My mom got remarried, really close to my stepdad, and family is everything to me. They're the only ones who stick by your side, no matter what. Since middle school, I was always working though. I would babysit almost every night, and I just loved making money. I also love photography. In middle school and high school, I'd bring my little digital camera and take photos of people and upload to picture trail, try and figure out what people want to see and how to get reblogs and all that stuff. So my passion for photography all ties into how I got started on Instagram, my career, my job. I feel like there's so much that should be in a book. But there's too much to explain. Sorry, too many. You guys know what I mean? After high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Or let's say junior, senior year when everyone was getting ready for college and applying to schools. I was over there saying, mom, dad, I don't know what I want to do at all. I don't want to be away from home because I am the biggest homebody. So let me take a year off, a gap year, and just figure it out. All my friends where I grew up in Long Island, everyone went to college and it was not normal to not go. I felt judged. I was embarrassed. Everyone's like, where are you going to college? And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> uh, um, just taking a year off to figure my shit out. I was going to makeup school. I was working at a gym, eight to four, 4.30, went to another gym to work the front desk of their spa. I was like four to seven, and then I would babysit at like 8.30 to 11. Throwback to babysitting, it just reminds me, my favorite houses would be the houses with the best snack. Right when they would leave, open the pantry, you know, eat all that food up. Sorry if you moms are watching this, but I used to babysit. Keeping super busy, just trying to learn what I love and what I'm passionate about. Because when you're 22, 21, like you don't really know what you want to do. Your passions change, your mindset changes, you grow, you learn. So I took a year off and honestly, that was one of the best decisions of my life. When I was working at the gym, I was really inspired by all the people who would come in every single day. I'd be making their protein shakes, I'd be selling them bars, scanning them in, I was doing it all. And one day, when I was really stressed, I was like, let me try working out and see how I feel. Keep in mind, working out wasn't like new to me. My mom always had a treadmill and all that in my house growing up, but I never actually got into it. So that one day I was feeling terrible. I decided, let me go in the Stairmaster. Put on my music, was jamming out. I was just sweating bullets. I felt amazing. After that day, I was like, wow, this is my stress believer. After that, I got really into fitness. I was friends with all the trainers there and just learning new techniques and working out with the members and having a great time. At the time when I was trying to figure out my career and what I wanted to do, my sister was in college, my parents moved to the city, and I was sleeping on a couch in my family friend's basement, which was a little awkward and uncomfortable when it's not your family you're living with or by yourself. So I was just juggling all this and really just trying to work hard, save money, and hopefully move out. At the end of the day, I had no choice but to just hustle, hustle, and that's what I was taught. Fast forward, Instagram started, and I'm like, wow, like let me create an Instagram account like my Tumblr, with all fitness photos and motivational quotes to inspire others. I created an account called Motivation for Fitness where all my photos, quotes were being posted. Now, my account, John Stelter, was still on private. No one knew who I was. So I was taking photos of just my outfit, really cool gym outfits, and just getting artsy with it, showing my progress, showing my transformations. And when Instagram started, it was more of a friendly platform, not a business platform. When my photos were getting reposted, I was like, I can motivate one person to work out and be healthy, I'm gonna keep doing this. I would start like, liking photos of other people, communicating with others around the whole world and making friends online. And I was like, wow, this is dope. Created a few other Instagram accounts from Couple Goals, That Bikini, I'm like a tech nerd. And all of a sudden I'm having 10,000 followers, 11,000 on Instagram, getting the sweetest messages from people around the world saying like, wow, you're inspiring me. I'm going to the gym and I just, Never gave up from there. People from my hometown definitely were judging the hell out of me, like, what is Jen doing? Like, so many haters were like, now it's funny, because even some of the haters back in the day now are trying to do the same thing. It's like that quote, first they laugh and they copy. That is one thing I'm really proud of, not giving up. When I was getting hated on, bullied, I never stopped. Keep in mind, right now it's a fitness fiesta. Everywhere you go, everyone's fit. It's awesome, like, 
killing it. But at the time, none of that existed. Like you would not find any models on there or fitness inspo. I found a way to motivate people through photos and videos. Started posting my workouts and this was rare. It was like, what, who is she? None of that existed. 300,000 followers, 400, 500,000. Getting so many inquiries now about if you wanna do a sponsorship, if you wanna post for this company. Took my first job while I still was working at the gym and it was exciting. A year was great, after that it was time to go. Took my stuff, walked out the door, I never looked back and all of a sudden I'm going through college in my own way. I was learning so much, trying to understand this business now. Instagram is a page where you can make an income. My mom at the time was my momager and she was taking all my photos then my sister came home from college. She joined the team, was able to save up and move into my own apartment, which was probably my biggest accomplishment. You know, it takes hard work and dedication to not give up and to really work your freaking tail off. If you work your ass off, anything is possible, I promise. So my passion became my everything. What kept me going every day was getting messages from random people around the entire world saying, wow, I'm off to the gym, you just inspired me. That was why I didn't give up and I kept going because if I'm helping one person a day, I'm doing something right. It's been such a journey. This like video, I can't sum up everything, but I'm looking forward to giving you guys tips on how to grow your platform, how to stick to your passion, how to not let people get to you, how to not listen to bullies, haters, all that. And I really wanna teach you guys what I've learned. I'm only 25, so I'm still learning myself, but I think my story really shows hard work and dedication, not giving up, you can do it. Thank you for watching this video. I love you all, and I'll be back soon for some more of these type of videos.